Recently, I came across a quote from Time Magazine which read, Don't blow it. Good planets are hard to find. To put it bluntly, our planet is beautiful. I simply typed the word nature into Google Images search engine and the result was over 100 million images which were equally as stunning as those that we are viewing now. I browsed through my own personal photography portfolio and there are so many photos that I have taken of landscapes, mountains, and the simple beauty of nature. We appreciate the beauty and wonder of our world. When people are asked to close their eyes and imagine a place where they feel at peace and most comfortable, a vast majority of those people picture themselves somewhere outside. We love it, so as it was so eloquently stated in time, don't blow it. Why are we though? Thank God men cannot fly and lay waste the sky as well as the earth. Henry David Thoreau With the earth's resources dwindling and the overuse of energy becoming a huge issue, Thoreau's quote has become an unfortunate reality. We have created a world which has essentially become a giant landfill. We destroy rainforests, pollute water which we need to survive, produce an immense amount of waste, and create horrible air for our children to breathe. Our generation, especially, has a fascination with stuff, and we always, always want more of it. Albert Einstein once stated, we shall require a substantially new manner of thinking if mankind is to survive. Not to sound so gloom and doom, but yes, a new way of thinking is required for survival. The world will not sustain itself with the way that we have been treating it. Luckily, this awareness has been made more apparent in recent years. Throughout almost four complete years of my education, sustainability in design has rapidly become increasingly more important in our lives and our overall education. Everybody generally knows of the impact that we as humans have on the planet. This in fact has become the inspiration for the design concept of my restaurant, the present day human impact on earth. I have amazing news for you. Man is not alone on this planet. He is part of a community upon which he depends absolutely. Daniel Quinn's Ishmael. I was required to read Ishmael in one of my third year design courses. I was so moved by Quinn's story. We are not on, alone in the world. We take from the earth and we take and make and take some more. When coming up with an idea for a space like this restaurant, whose goal is to be sustainable, it seems only fitting that this led me to develop a design concept which entails an extraction meaning humans take from the earth and create stuff, technology and products which ultimately lead to waste. The first floor will conceptually represent the earth and natural resources that are in fact dwindling, and the mezzanine will pull from the downstairs area to create a sense of stuff, the technology and such that have been developed throughout time and then ultimately brought to a giant garbage heap. I hope to visually represent this concept in all aspects of three-dimensional design of this restaurant. The activist is not the man who says the river is dirty. The activist is the man who cleans up the river. Ross Perot. As interior designers, we are learning what we must do to become activists. The USGBC has become a front runner in this drive for sustainable design. Creating a LEED certified interior or taking any kind of sustainable initiative when designing a space is my personal goal in order to help clean up the river, so to speak. According to the USGBC, a LEED certified building does the following. Lowers operating costs and increased asset value. Reduce waste sent to landfills. Conserves energy and water. Creates healthier and safer spaces for occupants reduces harmful greenhouse gas emissions, qualifies for tax rebates, zoning allowances, and other incentives in hundreds of cities, demonstrates an owner's commitment to environmental stewardship and social responsibility. So my question is, why not? Throughout this presentation, you will see little green circles. These symbols are a way to show every time I have taken a sustainable initiative and each of my specified products with these symbols will contribute to LEED certification. I hope that my concept has been fully represented through the de design of my 
restaurant, and I hope to inspire others to take the initiative and become an activist for planet Earth. I will close, close by quoting General Kofi A. Annan. We thrive and survive on planet Earth as a single human family, and one of our main responsibilities is to leave to successor generations a sustainable future. Thank you.